hi everyone and welcome to this video so as of now i'm just gonna go and open uh, android studio this is my windows 10 and uh, this is the latest android studio as of march 2023 so i've just installed it and i'm trying to like set up my flutter because i want to work up with my flutter project right here i have a dart project but for that i actually have to set on my virtual image my emulator my virtual emulator so i just go to this right panel i click on this and uh, so I've actually already installed an emulator image, Pixel 4. But now when I actually click on play, you can actually see the error that it gives me. It tells me Intel Hug seems to and not installed. And uh, I just want to try to correct this error. So when I click on this uh, pencil icon, uh, it actually loads this new page. So it tells me I can actually install the XM installer from here. But when I click install, so let's install it. So you can actually see there's an error here. It tells me you must install the instructions actually on this site. So this is actually a challenge. So it has actually failed to install. So what do I do? I'm just going to click on finish. And I'm going to find a, a different way of correcting. So it tells me device manager. Retry. But uh, so let's try to correct this issue. So let's close our Android Studio. So what I do is I'm just going to go to my start and then I'm going to search for the control panel. So type the word control and then we're just going to select control panel. And inside control panel we can actually go to uninstall a program. Then you can go turn on Windows features, turn Windows features on off. So it will bring a list of different items. Now the one we are searching for is uh, Hyper-V, as you can see here. So uh, in mine, there is actually one that is actually deactivated. So I can actually select one, but you can see that the other one is not ticked. But in most people's computers, it will actually work. Both will be ticked. So in mine, I'll have to set it up through BIOS setup. But let's click Apply. So, if in your computer it allows you to select both, it should actually work for you. But uh, s in other cases, someone actually set it on BIOS setup. So, we're going to restart our machine. Right. So, as our machine is restarting, you're just going to click on Escape as it immediately begins. Then we're going to go to BIOS setup by clicking F10 on my keyboard. And uh, inside BIOS setup, we actually want to go to the Advanced so you can actually see this main, sec main security and advanced. So we want to go to the advanced settings. Then we're going to select the device manager configurations. That's actually where it all is. So we're just going to uh, just move a little bit to the right. Then we're going to scroll down. So actually you need to scroll down. Okay. S scroll until you see that virtualization technology, VTX. Then you have to have to check that. Click check. Okay. So this is basically for my computer. Uh, in case you have some similar problem, like so, click on save and click on yes. So I hope uh, th so. This will work for me. I'll turn virtualization uh, technology on. So we're gonna click exit. Then you can actually save all changes. And uh, when we do that, the computer will actually restart. So it actually restarts. I go back to my control panel and I'm going to check that out again to see if the changes have actually worked. So when I go back to Hyper-V, you can actually see that the other one is now a board. So I can actually also select it. So you just have to make sure that both are selected and click OK. And now uh, it's going to apply changes. But then I'll have to, uh, after that, restart my computer one more time. So I'm just going to click on restart now. So make sure your computer has restarted. So after restarting, I can actually now go back to Android Studio and uh, let's open it. So this time the emulator should actually uh, pop up. So let's open. Then the emulator is right here. So let's click on play. So when I click on play, you can actually see a new window actually loads. Then I'm actually going to select... Uh, just click on the blue device manager, click on that setting. So it will actually load quickly. And uh, your image should actually load within this space. So let's just stretch this out. And you can see we have our emulator. It has actually loaded. 
and that's actually how I do it i hope this video helped you if it did feel free to leave a like on the video and if you're new to the channel i encourage you to join the community by subscribing i hope you liked the video thank you so much for watching see you all next time bye